What do we have here? No. No. What is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. I'm in our living room right now with a new set of wheels that have been sent in for a truck and I'll get into all the details the whole kind of deal behind this I want to say first off this video is sponsored by Anthem off-road okay Anthem supplied these wheels they were gracious enough to let me choose which set I wanted first off I want to say that I went directly to Anthem and only Anthem when I was looking for wheels I had seen many people on Instagram and stuff and whatnot that had them if you guys know Johnny Huey um, who does like the cool Duramax stuff he's got Anthem wheels on a couple of his trucks I think and a few other pages I've seen I've seen these wheels and I'm just like they're a cool style wheel you know like I want to you know look into them more so I went on the website and I was looking around and I'm like these are actually pretty freaking sweet you know and I was looking around and people had good stuff to say about them so I, was, so I emailed them and just kind of contacted them regarding you know the the black giveaway truck long story short that truck just didn't fall under the terms of agreement for like sponsorship stuff since it's gonna be given away within a couple months here so it's just kind of like they want to have the wheels on a truck that's gonna stay around the channel which I totally understand and you can totally see where they're coming from there because you know when you're sponsoring a set of wheels you know you want to make sure that you know it's not just getting put on a truck and then the truck's disappear and then, you know, that's that. You know what I mean? Anyways, here are the wheels that we got and these are actually going to go on Nasty Red, okay? So these wheels are going to go on Nasty Red and then I think you know what's going to happen with the wheels from Nasty Red. So the wheels from Nasty Red are going to go on the Black 12 up. Hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am for this. I'm going to show you these wheels here. I wanted to put these on the Black giveaway truck so, so bad, but I totally, I totally see where they're coming from, like in terms of putting them on a truck that's going to be given away and then they don't even get to stay around on the channel to show them off. Here they are. Man, these wheels are so sick. 20 by 12, 8 by 6 and a half bolt pattern, of course. Anthem Gunners, I believe that's what they're called, the Gunners. Here's the info right there, A761 Gunner. They had a few different options that I was like really torn between for that nasty red, and I was like, man, I'm like, which wheels, which wheels? And these ones just look the meanest, they look the most aggressive, and they kind of stayed with the, the similar look to what's already on it right now. The styling is really, really cool on these. I love how they have like these machine looking spokes in between. Looks really, really cool. They have the machine lip all the way around on the inside of every single one. And I just can't wait to see them on the truck. Well, as soon as I turned off the camera, we got some other items delivered here to the house. We now have the front leveling kit and some new LED lights from Nao. They uh, have provided me lights a handful of times now and freaking love them. I think we have this brand in the Nasty Red and the first gen and now they're going to be in the Black Boy 12 valve um, because I think he's got halogen bulbs in that truck for the headlights which are all right but you want to have some super bright white lights and uh, their, their lights have always been great and so anytime I actually need a set I basically just go to them and I'm like hey um, I need another high quality set of lights and uh, there's all different companies that would gladly send me lights but these are the ones that I prefer and these are the ones that I always would go with so if you guys want to check out these headlights always a great great quality and they're super bright and uh, yeah very easy to install absolutely love it so I'll link in the description for these if you guys are looking for a set for your second gens I got the dust up and now I got water spots, so it's kind of like a trade-off. Water spots, dirt, water spots, dirt. I don't know, I don't really like it. But anyways, I might just have to run it through like a mic or something sometime um, before we get the new shoes put on or here. But yeah, the reason I pulled the truck into the garage today is due to... We're going to be installing a leveling kit this weekend. My buddy Jeshua Foster, those of you who have seen him on the videos from a little while back, he actually, he was like my cameraman for like three or four days when he was hanging out and we were traveling and stuff which was actually awesome. So if you see this man, that was that was absolutely awesome. I do plan to get a cameraman at some point later on this year, like a videographer and video editor. Like there's a lot of other stuff behind the scenes, like in terms of promotion and designing stuff and you know pushing products. I would rather be sewing a lot of my time into 
versus you know sitting down to edit for like three hours every every evening which don't get me wrong i love but there's just other stuff i'd rather focus on for bigger picture stuff the truck's in here because we're going to be installing a leveling kit on this thing this weekend that's where I was going with that. Jesh was going to be helping me out with a leveling kit, so that's why we got the truck pulled in here. I mean, I just sprayed this thing off not even what, three minutes ago. And there's already water spots all over it. It always happens. I, I always think like, oh, I'm just going to pressure wash up the truck and help it out make it look a little bit better. It always turns out worse due to water spots. We actually should be able to go pick up Nasty Red pretty soon here. The truck should be about done. We're just swapping the... Uh, tires onto the new set of wheels and bolt those up. But we did get a piece of fan mail in. So, and yeah, I'm rocking the old styled OG T-Mod and Proud shirts with the big stamp on it, which is the decal logo now. Would you guys ever want to see these brought back to the store for the giveaway maybe? I don't know. I've got some brand new designs all made up for the giveaway inventory that's going to be available. Just trying to, you know, evolve and grow and make better stuff as I move along. Somebody sent in some fan mail here from Cheyenne to Loud and Proud. By the way, I do have a P.O. Box. P.O. Box address always in the description below. Like I said, guys, when you guys send in stuff, you're going to get shouted out. It's going to be mentioned. It's going to be noticed and you're going to receive the recognition that you deserve. There's always people begging for shout outs on you know snapchat and youtube and i mean everybody wants shout outs and stuff and this is a good way to do it to where you know you can send in something and it, it's seriously a moment just to focus and reflect on that part that you send in or that item it doesn't matter it can be a letter that just says appreciate the content thanks like that's that is plenty for me to get yourself a shout out or a mention for fan mail because i really appreciate that guys it's just hard to sort through you know snapchats and instagram messages and stuff and just to shout everybody out just to shout them out is just I don't know it's just it's a little bit hectic so I just kind of stick to this route only somebody made me a loud and pressure wait is there something in here almost threw that out it's a letter it says Malachi my name is Cheyenne I'm from Richmond Kentucky which is about 20 minutes from Lexington which I will be down there to get the transmission built for the nasty red and the giveaway 12 valve sooner than later I've been a subscriber since you posted the video of you bringing home the white second gen I love your videos I watch them every day as soon as you post them I've never sent any youtuber fan mail before I decided to make you a shirt that I thought looked kind of cool I didn't know what size to go with so I got a medium which is my size exactly so you hit the nail on the head thank you I make shirts and decals if you ever need anything let me know you can contact me on Instagram at underscore Williams underscore 859. So if you guys need shirts or decals, hit them up. I'm super excited for the truck giveaway. I love the black truck so much. You did a good job finding a nice truck. I sure hope I win. Well, you know what, dude? Good luck. I really do wish you guys the best of luck. Keep up the great work. Cheyenne. I keep all these letters, by the way. That's pretty sick. This is actually a sweet shirt. I think he sent me the template one time. He's like, hey, would you be interested in shirts like this? That is sweet. You know, I'm about to put it on right now. Sweet, look at that. I actually, dude, I actually freaking love this shirt. So when you see this video, thank you so much. The next time I pick up the camera here, we hopefully are picking up the Nasty Red and I'm revealing it to you guys, the new set of shoes on it in just a bit. Yo guys, we just got the wheels put on the Nasty Red and oh my gosh. I told my dad to send him a text instantly. I was like, these wheels look so much better on this truck. They're just so mint and the design is Incredible, they just look so mean on the truck and very aggressive. This video is sponsored by Anthem. Anthem sponsored the wheels for the, the Nasty Red. Enabled me to put the other wheels on the giveaway truck. I would have way rather had Anthems on this truck, which is what my original goal was, but totally understanding as to where they're coming from. You know, sponsor a set of wheels and then, you know, the wheels get given away, you know, basically with a truck giveaway in two months. Like I said, I could have chosen another brand. I, I wouldn't have wanted to choose any other brand. That's the brand that I chose. The first people I went to, I said, I've seen your wheels all over the place. I want to rock these wheels on one of our trucks. Like, I love the design, the innovation. Like, it's just something that I want to see rolling on one of our trucks. I want to see these wheels on one of our trucks. They look good. So I'm going to send you guys into a little montage here of the wheels, which by the way, they said they hooked me up with a sick hat too. Their hats are absolutely awesome. I love the fitting and the design. Really clean, fits well. So I'm just gonna show you guys around the truck right now. Be prepared, these wheels are pretty sick.
up and I'm in the studio, guess they gonna learn now Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all, never gonna burn out I've been busy working, you busy flirting, guess you get what you deserve now Whoa. Holy smokes they look good. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about anything. When I go with a brand for sponsorships, whether it's Pusher, Diesel Auto Power, and now Anthem, I seek out brands that I want to work with because I want you guys to be able to work with them as well. When I go to brands, it's not whoever comes to me first, you know, and offers something up. I go to brands that I want to work with and then I think will find a great value in working with me to be able to work with you guys. Cannot wait to have another set on one of the other trucks. Just after having the set of wheels in the truck, I already want another set right away. My next set of wheels that I purchase is definitely going to be another set of anthems. Definitely look really good on this truck. I'm gonna to try to film as much as I can out here, but the wind is just brutal, so bear with me. They're already dirty and dusty from sitting out here. Man, just look at the styling. I just love, I love cool features and when you know thought went into the designs. These are, of course, 20 by 12s, and uh, they are negative 44 offset. These are the gunner models. If you guys wanna go check these out, I will leave a link in the description below for these exact wheels and also Anthem's website because they have all different stuff for all different kinds of trucks, not just this one, of course. I can't get over it. They look so, so good on this truck. Well, there's where my rag went. <laughs> I'm in love with these, with these new wheels for sure. Like I said, link be down in the description below. Couldn't be happier thus far. June 1st is the projected plan. That is the plan is to get this giveaway launched on June 1st for this truck and another truck. Make sure you guys subscribe, stay tuned, because guys, we are giving away a 12 valve. There's going to be two 12 valves. One's a manual, five speed, and the other one is automatic. It's kind of a built training in it. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. There's going to be one winner, and he or she will have the option between two 12 valves. You can pick one. It's just an incredible opportunity. You know, just a, just the thought of winning a free truck. Like, think about how that would make you feel. And, you know, I've had a lot of people that have commented, you know, like, oh, well, dude, I just don't know. I don't know if I have good odds. You don't know if you have good odds? Well, let me just tell you, let me tell you this. Your odds in a giveaway, like with me, are probably going to be exponentially higher than even some of the other YouTubers that have, let's say, far more subscribers because they've been at it for a lot longer. Or even like, for example, Deesa Brothers, totally love and respect what they do. And people do win trucks. People win trucks, they win cash, all kinds of stuff. But your odds of winning a giveaway like that, especially in $5 increments when there's so many people and so many entries going in, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of thousands, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of people entering, your odds are so slim. In this giveaway, there's not gonna be hundreds of thousands of people entering. There's, there might be a couple thousand people entering, but that's, that's it, you know what I mean? Like, that's it. And you know, some guys are like, oh dude, I just don't know, like what are the odds? Your odds are just as good as anybody else's, you know? I was telling some guy this, he's like, I just don't know if, you know, if I wanna waste my time entering in a giveaway, you know what I mean? Like, what are the odds? I said, well, the odds are actually really good in this one compared to a lot of other ones you're gonna have an opportunity on. As I grow and as things progress, this is probably your best opportunity ever to win a truck because even a year from now, this channel is gonna be five times the size. You know, then there's just gonna be a lot more people. Rules are probably gonna be modified a little bit and stuff as things progress and move on. But this is a huge opportunity when a channel's in its early stages. And I think it's a great opportunity. And I told a guy, I said, I said, you know what I would say? This is the way I look at it. Somebody's gonna win. Somebody's gonna get that name drawn and it could be you, you know what I mean? But if you don't enter, you'll never know. You could be, you know, watching that video that day and be like, man, that could have been my name if I would've entered. I would have just spent 20 bucks, it could have been me, I could have won a freaking truck. You know what I mean? So it's just the way I would look at it is like, it could be you. You never know. Everybody has just as good of a chance. So why not enter, you know? People spend 20 bucks on senseless stuff every day of the week. I like, I walked out today and I spent a lot of, well I guess I spent on postage, it's kind of part of business, but you know, 20 bucks is just like, just like that, you know, I mean, people spend it all the time, so why not enter to win a truck and get some sweet merch. Guys, that is gonna put a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Just wanted to show you the new wheels on the truck. Just kind of went for a little walk through the property with my mom today, actually, which was a really good time. You know what I mean? Like, I've been so cooped up in this garage and in this barn and working in my room and stuff, like, like nonstop. Like, it might not seem like that on the videos sometimes. I'm just grinding, grinding, grinding. When I say that, I mean it. Like, I'm really working on stuff. For an 18-year-old, I probably put in crazy amounts of hours compared to most kids my age. I'm in the developing processes of something huge. It's worth every minute to me. But I got to go for a walk and just kind of enjoy creation, enjoy the outdoors, and just taking a walk out in the woods. And uh, it just felt so nice to get back in the woods. I haven't been out there in forever, so it felt really good to just, uh, you know, out in nature a little bit more than just in the garage and on my laptop working on stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Go check out Anthem Off-Road. Link in description. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.